Hello. Well, I get home from work. Um, just got off work a little while ago, got comfortable, and um, my new books are here. Um, one of the things I do, one of my um, bad habits that I have is I buy books. I do research, study. Yeah, you know, I, I study this, the King James Bible, the real Bible. Now you're gonna you're gonna need your King James Bible for this. Oh boy, do I got something for you. But um, I I read all kinds of things. Um, I'm a, you know I study Catholicism. I have studied uh, Catholicism and the Jesuits pretty pretty in depth. But uh, you know, and I I read all kinds of stuff. Um, let me show you. Hold on. This got this one. The Trivium. The Liberal Arts of Logic, Grammar, and Rhetoric. I've been getting into um, dialect, rhetoric, that kind of stuff. Um, also, too, when people use the word dialect, when you think of the word dialect, for example, you think of what? The way you're speaking. But philosophers and philosophy twists the word dialect to make it also to mean logic, that dialect is logic. Very interesting. And the trivium is these three things, uh, the arts of logic, arts of logic, grammar, and rhetoric. Uh, not this particular book, but a book similar to this was recommended to me by a brother who is unfortunately no longer on YouTube at the moment. Hopefully he returns uh, someday, but this is one that I'm going to be beginning to read. Um, very interesting about our rhetoric and stuff like that. So, but now um, very quickly, I got to tell you, <coughs> I am not a Trinitarian. I do not believe in the Trinity. Um, the, as I said in my one video, uh, Who is God? You can trace the teaching of the three person <laughs> Trinity back to Babylon, all the way back to Babylon with um, Nimrod, Semiramis, and Ninus. Okay. And when you search the scriptures, Nimrod is mentioned, the Queen of Heaven, Diana, uh, is also mentioned, which is Semiramis, and Ninus, the son of Nimrod, is also mentioned, uh, Ta Tammuz, okay, stuff like that. But um, the Trinity teaching that is accepted by many people, traces back to Babylon. And um, <laughs> you don't find in the King James Bible or any other Bible uh, I love that God the Son. <laughs> you ready for this? Yeah, yeah, you, you're, you're seeing that right. You're seeing that right. I am God the Son. I, I just got this today. I mean, I, I got home from work. This is in the mailbox. Just got it today. I have not read it. <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I want to show you something. Uh, like I said, I haven't even had this in my in my possession for about half an hour. <laughs> okay, get your King James Bible and go to Matthew chapter sixteen. Okay, go to Matthew chapter sixteen. Okay, now the authors of this grotesque little 
paraphrase. This is a paraphrase of the four gospel accounts. Um, the authors are, or the editors, excuse me, um, are Dr. Elmer L. Towns and Dr. Lee Fredrickson. Um, I have not researched them or looked into them to see what kind of Jesuit ties they have or whatever. I have not looked. But this is also has flavors of um, emergent Christianity in there. But I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you something that's just going to blow your mind. So, you get your King James Bible, the real Bible. Um, this, I paid like seven bucks for this. <clears throat> and this is a grotesque perversion of Scripture. Uh, the King James Bible says, We are not as many that corrupt the Word of God. You know, says that in the Pauline epistles. You, you go find that one for yourself, Pat. Go ahead. Because I, I just want to show you this, okay? <clears throat> now, before I read this, let's read in Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 on to verse 20. Go there, in the real Bible, King James Bible, okay? Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 on to verse 20. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? <coughs> ye is plural. When you see ye in the King James Bible, that means two. It's never singular. Okay, keep that in mind. That's why the these, the thous, the yees are very imperative. And incidentally, they did not speak with thee, thou, thine, ye in 1611. Okay, God chose this language for a reason through the translators of the King James Bible, the real Bible. Now let's continue. And Shimon, we're at verse 16. And Shimon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Shimon Barjona, Barjona, son of Shimon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say unto thee, that thou art Peter, And upon this rock, meaning himself, meaning himself, not Peter, you Catholics. And upon this rock will I, I will build my church, and the gates of hell, not Hades, not Sheol, okay? And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shalt be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shalt be loosed in heaven. Then charged he his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ. Okay? And for you Catholics, okay, hi Hammer. Um, if... <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if the Lord just made Peter the first pope uh, <laughs> who doesn't make mistakes okay oh and I'm aware of all your arguments on this verse um, why did Jesus call Peter Satan in verse 23 the catechisms will mention it but they won't expound on that will they no, no, but, okay, no, we, we read the real Bible. <laughs> Stay in Matthew. Stay where you are. <laughs> get, get, get ready for this. Okay. <clears throat> All right. 
it's wow. You know, the guys who are responsible for this, it's a very serious thing when you mess with God's word. I pity these people. I honestly and seriously pity these people who are responsible for this. Okay? Um, here, <clears throat> this is what I'm going to be reading you. Okay? From here to where my finger and my pinky finger is, okay? See that? Go ahead and pause it and read it if you want to, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. Get ready for this. Follow along in the real Bible. Check this out. Next, I went to the village of Caesarea Philippi, and as we were walking, I asked, Who do the people say that I am? The disciples answered, Some say you are John the Baptizer. Others say that you are Elijah, or Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. I, I then asked, See, this is written in the first person. As if Jesus himself is, you know, speaking to you. It's kind of like that blasphemous um, Jesus calling, where Jesus is speaking new revelation to Sarah Young. Okay, and the, we can that, never mind that. But this is it's, this is written in the first person of Jesus. Okay, so just check this out. I then asked, but who do you say that I am? Shimon Peter answered, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. I answered him, Shimon Peter, son of Jonah, you are blessed. You didn't think this up. My father in heaven gave you this revelation. Peter, you have faith like a rock, and I will build... <laughs> and I will build my church on the solid rock statement of my deity that you just spoke about. <laughs> the gates of hell cannot stop my followers when they go preaching who I am. Ooh, boy, no Catholic bias there, is there? And, hey, okay, and um, I might actually consider unblocking just one Catholic subscriber of mine, um, because I, I'd love to hear, uh, and the one guy will probably harass me anyway, but I would love to hear a Catholic's opinion on this. I really would. I really would. Let's read this again, okay? I, I, I read the script in the real Bible, okay? Go ahead. I answered him, Shimon Peter, son of Jonah, you are blessed. You didn't think this up. My Father in heaven gave you this revelation. Peter, you, <laughs> you have faith like a rock, and I will build my church on the solid rock statement of my deity, that you just spoke about, speaking ex cathedra. This piece of filth is giving homage to the heretical satanic teaching of Pope Peter, if you hadn't figured that one out already. But oh, oh, oh wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> I then replied, I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. What you bind on earth will not enter heaven. What you lose on earth will enter heaven. I then instructed them not to tell anyone I was the Messiah, the anointed of God.
What else can I say? <laughs> what else? What else is there to be said? Uh, now, here's a little um, here's a little thing about the emergence, the emergent Christianity, so called. Okay, um, I'm not going to read this, but I just want to show you this. I teach with stories. The meta narrative, the big story. That's that's um, emergent um, rhetoric. Stories, emergence like stories, not parables. They argue it's the same thing. No, no it's not. Okay, no, it's not. But see, there again, I teach with stories. Very vile, very disgusting, very filthy, but oh, wait, now, okay, now, you, we read in Matthew 16, uh, verses 13 on to verse 20, uh, if you got your King James Bible, follow it, when I was reading this garbage, um, yeah, yeah, but wait, oh yeah, oh yeah. John chapter 14, okay? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get a load of this. Um, this was at a list price of 15 bucks, 15.99, and I bought it for about seven bucks. Uh, where I got it, I'm ashamed to tell you, but uh, I sent a link showing a few uh, of the brethren about this book, and it's like I, I had to get this. I had to see what this was about. That's the way I am. When I see stuff like that, um, I send it to two brethren, and I, here it is. <laughs> and, uh, okay, all right. Let's go. You go to John fourteen. Okay. Uh, we will read. Uh, we'll, we're going to read in the Real Bible, King James Bible. From verses 5 on. Um, see, and they don't have verse numbers in this. Uh, then it skips a whole bunch. But anyway, okay. Here we're going to read John chapter 14. Let's read from verses 5 on to verse 7 to begin. Okay? Go there in the King James Bible. This is one of the clearest verses, uh, portions in Scripture. One of the clearest, besides Isaiah 9. Um, this is one of the clearest that Jesus Christ is the Father. Okay? So, let's begin at verses 5 on to verse 7 to start. Okay. <clears throat> Thomas saith unto him, We know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also, and from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Okay? Keep your finger there. Pay attention. Watch this. <clears throat> I, I gosh, I gotta show this to you. And note, note the picture. There's like little devotions within this. This is a really, this is really blasphemous. But this is what I'm going to be reading you. Okay. You see, I got some highlighted stuff there. Go ahead and pause it if you want to. Okay. Um, if you need to go vomit, get a trash can, like what I spit in when I'm angry in my videos. <laughs> okay. So, um, oh, don't defile my Bible. King James Bible with this. It's a big part. Okay. Follow along in the book, the King James Bible. But Thomas responded, responded, no. 
We don't know where you are going, nor do we know how to get there. I'm, a, I'm getting a little irritated, but I'm getting a little irritated. I said, I am the way to heaven. Also, I am truth. I am truth. I am the way, the truth. I am truth. See, what that means is that that is subjective, relative. I am truth. And you're in the King James, right? Okay. Verse 6, I am the way. The truth. There's only one truth. Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father, and this book, the King James Bible. That's it. Okay? He is the truth. I am truth. And I am eternal life. What eternal life? You know, when you die, you're either going to spend eternity in hell or eternity in heaven. There is no purgatory, Catholic, okay? There is no purgatory. That's a, that's a joke, okay? As some like to say, that's a fair, fairy tale for heretics, okay? Get it? But it says there, I am the way, the truth, and the, the, the way, the truth, the life. Only one way. Only one truth. Only one life. I said, I am the way to heaven. Also, I am truth, and I am eternal life. You must come through me to go to the Father. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. Oh, oh, wait, wait, did, did you just wait? Did you, I'm going to read you something that's going to make you drop your biscuits. Okay, let's continue. Since you know me, you should also know the Father. And from now on, you'll know the Father. Did You, you caught that, right? Verse 7. In the, in the real Bible, you, I'm, I got this piece of garbage, you're following me along. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him, and have oh, seen him? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Since you know me, you should also know the Father. And from now on, you'll know the Father. Do you see that they're playing up the three-person, spirit, soul, and body thing? Do you see that? Yeah, but well, well, look at the title. the right? Philip, oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, now check this out. Read in the real Bible. Um... Let's read verses 8 and 9 to start, okay? We might, we'll continue a little bit, but let's read now 8 and 9 in the real book, the King James Bible. Philip saith unto him, Lord, shew us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet thou hast not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, shew us the Father? Jesus is the Father. It's not in essence, okay, which I proved in the one who is God video that came from philosophy. The Catholics even admit it, okay? And they say, <laughs> double speak, they say, we took it from philosophy, but because we took it from philosophy, it didn't mess with the the interpretation or the whatever, 
<laughs> Double speak. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No. Check this out. <laughs> oh. oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Philip disagreed. We don't know what the fun. We don't know what the father looks like. Show, show us the father so we can believe. Just believe. Just believe. Getting pretty irritated, so beg your pardon. <clears throat> I answered, I have been with you all this time, and I'm surprised you don't know the Father. He who has seen me has seen the Father. Now, some nitwit, half brain idiot. might say, well, say, it says, he who has seen me has seen the Father. Yeah, let's see, they're building up the three-person thing. And you, just, you heard what this said. This is word for word, verbatim. I answered, I have been with you all this time. I have been with you all this time, and I'm surprised you don't know the Father. He who has seen me has seen the Father. And it doesn't say anything about, in this, uh, and how sayest thou then, show us the Father. Now, let's read verse 10. Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Okay? What I say are not my words, but they are from the Father who lives in me. The Father also does the miracles that I do. Believe that I am in the Father and he is in me. Or else believe it because you have seen my miracles. Read verse 11. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me. Soul. The soul of the Godhead, fullness of the Godhead bodily. Ah, the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Thank you, pardon. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. <clears throat> believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. I say unto you, who uh, I say unto you, he who believes in me shall do the works that I do, and even greater ones, because I am going to the Father. Uh, where was that? Believe that I am in the Father. Be oh, beg your pardon. Here's what this says: Believe that I am in the Father, and He is in me, or else believe it because you have seen my miracles. I say to you. He who believes in me shall do the works that I do, and even greater ones, because I am going to the Father. But there again, like I said, I have been with you all this time, and I'm surprised you don't know the Father. He who has seen me has seen the Father. Now, oh, here, here's, here's the, uh, here is, <laughs> okay. Jump down now to verses 15 on to verse 18, and then we're going to quit, okay? Because um, I can't really, because I, I haven't read this, and this is over 300 pages long, but um, I check this out, okay? Let's read in the real Bible, the King James Bible, verses 15 on to verse 18. 
Okay? If ye love me, keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. Okay? And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. I will come to you. Meaning, the Lord is that Spirit. Okay? Now, um, oh, wow, you, 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 okay, now, while I'm reading this, read along in the King James Bible. Just read it while you're listening to my annoying voice. And, um, <clears throat> I told them, if you love me, obey my commands, and I will ask the Father to send you another person in my place. Hold, hold up, hold up. I know. Brethren, chill. Here, you got to see this. Okay? Right there where my fingers are. The highlighted stuff, pause it and read it. Go ahead, pause it and read it. Okay? I told them, if you love me, obey my commands. And I will ask the Father to send you another person in my place. He will live in you forever. This other person is God, the Holy Spirit. The third person of Trinity. You see that? The unsaved cannot receive him because they do not believe in him or know anything about him. But you will know the Holy Spirit because you believe in me. He will dwell with you and be in you. Now, check this out. I will not leave you, all, you alone in the world. I will come to you. The one in essence thing is why they left it like that. The one in essence. So they could say, yes, God is three persons, spirit, soul, and body. That is the biblical definition of what a person is. And you get... <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. You, you you heard it yourself. Um, I got other books I'm studying and reading at the moment, so I do not know when I'm going to get to read this. And um, I, I'm going to tell you the truth, brethren. I don't know. Um, and that was just, like I said, that was just me having this book for only half an hour. I already saw that. And if somebody who's really focusing on um, proving the heresy of the Trinity get their hands on this and have the time and um, can control their temper, <laughs> go for it. But um, I want to read you this now. Um, now, I don't know how popular this is. Hopefully it's not. But with the lost who are duped into thinking Three persons make one God. Um, let me just read a few things here of these people who applaud this piece of junk. This is from Jensen, Jentensen Franklin, senior pastor, free chapel, chapel, author of New York Times bestseller. They don't tell you the book. Jesus talked directly to my heart through this Bible. As I read its pages, it was like walking and talking with Jesus. No one else was there, just the two of us. I believe God will use this Bible to get multitudes to listen to him and to follow him. Yeah. Yeah. The false antichrist, if any. Yeah. Yeah. It, 
Here, here's what I read you. So you know I ain't taking it out of context. Okay, right there. Pause and read it if you must. Okay. Um. <laughs> here's one from the Philippines. Uh, from Pastor David Sobre, Zober, Zoberpena, Zobripena, David Zoberpena, Word of Faith, Manila, Manila, Philippines, largest church in the Philippines. Of course, they're talking about buildings, of course. This Bible has the power of Jesus talking directly to you, just like uh, Jesus calling. You will feel closer to him than ever before and realize that he is God and you should follow him. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's one. Here's one that you, uh, <laughs> here's one. Dr. Mark. Milioni, Milioni, Dr. Mark Milioni, President, Baptist Bible College, Springfield, Missouri. Elmer Towns and Lee Fred Fredrickson have made the words of Jesus more personal than any other Bible version. I felt Jesus was having a personal conversation, conversation. Key phrase to emergent uh, Christianity. They say preaching is violence to the listener. They would much rather engage in conversation. Okay, that's what the emergents do. Okay. Elmer Towns and Lee Fredrickson have made the words of Jesus more personal than any other Bible version. I felt Jesus was having a personal conversation with me and I felt a renewed commitment to obey what he was saying. Hey, Baptists. Okay? Right there. Pause it and read it. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. Pause it and read it. Uh, one more. Okay, then, then that's it. Because, you know. This is by Robert J. Strand, best-selling author of over 60 books. They don't tell you the books. Wouldn't be surprised if uh, one of them was a Catholic catechism. Awesome. Captivating. In a first-person narrative. Aha. God the Son seems to be sitting across the table from the reader, looking you in the eyes and sharing the most exciting story Ever told. Now, with what I just read you, narratives, a uh, story ever told, uh, God the Son, those are what is called buzzwords. Okay? You, any of you who has that much sense in you, realize that this is just filth. But let's continue. What a new and refreshing insight with this genre. With this genre. I don't have my garbage can. So. <laughs> His story comes alive like never before. His story comes alive like never before. Specifically, read the Sermon on the Mount. I think I'd vomit. From a very different perspective. Oh, I can only imagine. And don't miss any of the other stories. The sun is your guide with a word picture. With a word picture? Wow, even a little NLP phrasing in there. Wow, imagine that. <laughs> with a word picture beyond anything written in the past. If you read only one book this year, this is the one to read. It's a page turner and a life changer. With a word picture. That's an LP phraseology. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Okay, here, right there where my fingers are, if you must. Man, I feel dirty. I think I need to take a bath. Like I, like I said, I, I don't know. I, I bought this for seven bucks. I bought it off of christianbooks.com. I know. Don't. I know. I know. Okay, I know. I'm going to have to answer for that when I stand before the Lord. I get that, okay? I know. I know. Okay. But, uh, yeah, that's where I got this from. That ought to tell you something. That this kind of thing is... Wow. Anyway. What else? What else is there to say? What else is there to say? This was very impromptu, unexpected. And wow, 41 minutes. Wow. Um, <laughs> I might unblock one of my Catholic subscribers. Because I would love to hear what you think about it. I really would. I blocked you because you uh, did something against a brother of mine. And um, like I said, unfortunately, that brother is no longer on YouTube. But um, I I'd love to. I'd, I'd love to hear a Catholic's perspective on this, just to hear, just to see, you know. So <clears throat> anyway, gotta go. Um, you guys have yourselves a wonderful night, and I'll see you in the next video, whenever that may be, and whatever they, that may be. Have a nice night.